respectful to my family with regards to my daughter's death. And uh, we've had enough there uh, lies to us to in between us. And uh, we're just tired of it all. We need to uh, show us uh, why we had to launch this lawsuit today. And uh, we're just like uh, we're tired of the number day how they how they've been uh, feeding our family and all. They give us uh, false information. They told us that they're going to do uh, a lie detector on the person that seen my daughter last, and they didn't do that. They've also uh, we gave them uh, names. They didn't follow up on that, like you know, our potential witnesses. They also uh, uh, just basically like. Uh, To really top that part off was they uh, when I asked him if I can go do a ceremony for my daughter, they wouldn't even give us the address of the bit of from that ceremony. And so all those things are they all contributed to what we're doing today. And uh, there's a lot more to it than that. There's a lot of things that they that they did to us. And uh, also they they also disrespected the mom with regards to her death. Uh, my daughter. How? What did they do? They were very intensive when they when they no, when they told her like on, on the phone about, about the death of my daughter and uh, complete disrespect. And then that's all. That's one. That's not it. Something that will come out again in the court documents. And we want uh, to, to see this through right till the till the end. Uh, um, can you explain why like the importance of being able to hold that ceremony? Could you explain the importance of being able to hold that ceremony at the location where Well, the, the ceremony is that when someone died like that, you have to have for us, like as part of our customs and traditions, you have to have a ceremony for someone that died, you know, without uh, any uh, proper closure or, or, you know, like anything that happened in regards to the spirit. And we had to do that, like, right away. And, uh, but they wouldn't allow us to, uh, to do that. And uh, they just kept on. I asked about three times to, we can have that, even if the police took, uh, took us there. They, they entertained, they, they, at the time they entertained the idea of them to take us there, but they didn't, there was no follow through. Even up till last fall, they, uh, they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't even take us to, the, to that site. Uh, I, I understand that you guys put the lawsuit at $14 million. How did you guys come up with that figure? Well, I think that would be something my lawyer would have to answer. He's, uh, but I'm, uh, we did a lot of work on this file. We did a lot of, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's a lot of work that was involved in this. And, um, and we also did a lot of research. We also, like, you know, we basically, like, you know, talked to, like, people where we really need to talk to. So I'm gonna, but I'm gonna let him talk, talk about that. Did you basically uh, do some research for this as well, or was it mostly your lawyer? No, he, he, he basically him and I we consulted and stuff like that. So he's gonna have to answer that. At least, yeah. And how's Cheyenne Sandu? Cheyenne, I seen him uh, like a couple of months ago, and then he he still talks about his mom. And we did a, uh, we also did a. Uh, uh, memorial for my daughter and uh, the, the dance that you could best dance did a memorial dance for her and uh, at one point uh, one of the my, my grandson came to Xavier and he taught he seen his mom and uh, it was actually Cheyenne's sister they both look alike and he went up to her and just said mom you know like the, everybody was just in shock when they seen that I, I was walking up and then we all came together and then it was just face just dropped. And then uh, Xavier went and hugged her and everything like that. It was like, uh, it was horrible. It, was, it just brought back, you know, things that, it just brought back things like, you know, or just that, you know. Basically, like, we're not, we haven't gotten any answers. And we, like, we're, we're, we're just doing, you know, they, they closed the file. So, like, you know, last, last November. Is it more difficult to find closure when you don't have answers?
I think it's uh, it's it's a lot of things like that. It's, it all interrelates to all of them. Is there anything else you would like to add that maybe I missed? No, basically I'm, I'm, I'm calling Harper out about the missing and murdered women. I think I, most of you have seen what I, what I said and heard what I said. Basically I, I, I'm calling them out, you know. And uh, that's my main message here. And also this here place here, they, uh, they uh, our women continue to get killed every day almost. And uh, so, uh, basically calling on uh, this government to, uh, you know, to seriously take a look at it.